I'm here in Patchogue, New York, looking for a 3D printed house built by SQ4D. Now, I believe that it's in this location because I saw the address in a video, and so I drove here early in the morning, hoping to get a glimpse of some of this futuristic construction. So, this is the headquarters of SQ3D, and it looks like this is where the building used to stand that has since been evidently demolished. This is clearly the same building that they operated from. You can tell the address is the same as it is online. Here I am at the SQ4D headquarters. This is their main facility. You can recognize this building from some of their other YouTube videos. But the building that they had printed isn't here anymore. So I'm going to do my best to drive around the town. Hopefully I'll find something, some sign of a 3D printed house. But until then, the only thing I really see is this one column. This column's obviously 3D printed. To be honest, the layering looks slightly lower quality than wind suns in China. And this is honestly the only evidence that I've been able to find at all of the 3D printed construction project that SQ4D is doing here in Patchogue, New York State. Well, I went to the headquarters address listed by SQ4D and I found no signs of 3D printed houses. I believe it's the same site that they were building on, but they were maybe demolishing projects after they completed them. I don't know if that was for secrecy's sake or what. Anyway, I believe they've done a 1900 square foot house in Calverton, New York. So I'm driving there now and hopefully I can find the address. I'm here in Calverton, New York, and all morning I've been hunting for SQ4D's 3D printed house. I started at 6 a.m. in Patchogue because I saw a sign on one of SQ4D's YouTube videos that had an address on it, but that was their headquarters and they've demolished all of the projects that they've done there. So now I found another video with another town called Calverton, and I drove to Calverton drove around the entire town for an hour or two until I found this area which looks maybe like a cement production facility or concrete manufacturing facility either way it seems promising and I did find the building behind it so I guess SQ4D has partnered with a company called Suffolk Cement or they're just buying their cement from them. Either way, I'm looking forward to getting in the house. Wow, this is so cool. Right now, I am looking at the biggest 3D printed house in America. Take a look. Right there, you can see the printer. This is a gantry style printer on rails and so it has an x-axis and a y-axis and that bar in the middle goes up and down those two pillars and then it runs down this track here all the way down as it needs to I'm actually impressed with the way the layering looks on this property and the pictures online it didn't look quite this good when I got here earlier this morning, the construction workers were actually preparing to put the roof up. So clearly they're using a stick built roof. It's not going to be 3D printed, but it seems like it's taking them a while to finish all of the detailing. Even though they 
claim to have printed the whole property in 24 hours over the course of eight days, it's clearly not really done. At first glance, it may not look as impressive as the Winsun 3D facility in China, but I actually like this one more because it's far more honest about what parts are 3D printed and what isn't. You can tell clearly the cement from the wood and it's easy to see that they framed out the windows and the doors with 2x4s and the rest of the walls have been 3D printed. So that would be the front door there. I think I just walked in through the back door, which would make this a living area. Back here is maybe the master bedroom potentially. It's the bathroom here. They haven't prepared for any type of plumbing, so I don't know if they're going to ultimately outfit this to be a livable house. But you can see this layering is pretty even. The corners have trouble like here, but the flat sections of wall actually come out looking pretty good. Some sections it looks like it may not be watertight. And there are some small fractures. On the other side of the house, there's a small closet. Perhaps a bedroom. Another bedroom, third bedroom, and a shared bathroom for the three bedrooms. So that's the master bedroom and then three bedrooms in this side, this 1900 square foot house. So far, this is definitely the most impressive 3D printed construction project that's happened in America. Um, Apis Core is planning on doing three projects in the next few months that should be complete by late 2020 so hopefully I can get around to showing you those projects as well but I'm definitely going to try to come back to this one because I want to see what it looks like with the roof and hopefully the windows in too so hopefully that doesn't take too long but thanks for watching if you enjoyed it please like comment subscribe that makes it easier for me to be able to do more videos like this in the future it motivates me and if people weren't watching it, I wouldn't really want to show anybody. So thank you if you're supporting and yeah. There's no doubt that the construction industry is going to change. Every other industry is using automation in order to increase efficiency and decrease cost, which in the end allows the consumer to get a better product. So things like 3D printed construction and automation are what's going to drive us forward and it's going to have the biggest impact on the people that have the lowest quality of living by making housing cheaper. I've noticed a bunch of comments on different construction websites discussing construction automation and the concern of losing jobs. In my opinion in America, at least, that's not an issue because the younger generation isn't filling that construction job market. So there's actually somewhat of a labor shortage right now for construction in America. And technology like this isn't likely to just take over the world by storm overnight. It's going to be a slow, long process that's going to take decades. And so people in construction right now can continue using the techniques that they know for the rest of their lives if they want and never use technology like this at all. It's going to be the early adopters and the people that like being on the cutting edge that are going to really reap the benefits of automated construction first. Wow, what a unique part of history. Those of you that know me well know that I've been excited about 3D printed construction 
for a couple of years now. So to be able to see these projects coming to life in person is really incredible. I'd really like to do more videos like this. Um, I can definitely go down to Mexico and check out the project that New Story is doing there and the projects that Apis Core is doing in America. But if this video gets to 1,000 likes, I will shit my ass down to Dubai and do a tour of all of the 3D printed construction projects going on down there. They've pledged that by 2030, they want 25% of every building to be 3D printed. So as far as the global 3D printed construction initiative goes, Dubai is really the place to be. So a thousand likes and I'll do it. It's not too much to ask, right? Come on. Oh, 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 oh,